Good morning. It's half past nine on a Sunday here in North Sanua. And uh, everyone's getting ready to go on the boats and head off to the islands. It's a little bit rougher down there, so they, uh, they drag the boats up here, which is right out front of uh, La Mia Museum. Uh, this morning, I'm just going to head to a hotel called the New Ananda and see if I can um, go inside and just shoot the grounds for you. This has been requested by uh, one of our viewers on the channel, so I thought, why not? It's a short walk for me, and I'll be very interested to see what this place is like. So, fingers crossed, you know, we have success at the front desk, and we can get in and, and have a look at the, uh, the new Ananda, which is um, right next to Mabang, Mabang, sorry, which is the, uh, the, uh, the restaurant that just sells um, fish, rice, and soup. So, let's get up there and check it out. Okay, I'm lost. I thought it was right here, but I'm just going to go down this alleyway. And it might be down here, but I actually thought it was right off the main road. Hello. Hello. Very busy today. I don't think it's down here, but look, it's worth a shot. I've definitely given myself a bum steer here. This is not, uh, not it. When I looked on Google Maps, it said right on the, um, on the main street, and I've walked past it. I'm sure I have. Just hang on a sec. There's another building here. What's this thing? What's this called? No. That's not it. Okay, I'm pretty certain right in front of me, this is the place. It's just they haven't changed the name. I think I need to lay off those bintangs in the afternoon. I'm going mental and I'm getting lost. It's right next door to this one. Gee, she's busy today. Motorbikes on the road, <laughs> motorbikes on the footpath. Uh, it's a good vibe though. So, it is right here. You can just see the ocean, just poke its nose out there. Probably 80 metres away. And the new Ananda should just be through one of these little alleyways. <laughs> it's not that one. It's got to be here. It's not that one. Well, I've walked right past it. I don't know where it is. Well, I can see the building. You must end. This little dogger. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I thought the entrance was of uh, this road here. But it's not, it's actually off the beachfront. So let's uh, see if we have any success there. Oh, wow. Eureka, here it is. The new Ananda Beach Hotel, right on the foreshore of the beach. I don't think you can get any more beachfront than this location probably 10 meters from the front uh, that break wall and just up there are all those little uh, shops and uh, there's one of the first swimming beaches we're very lucky today one of the staff members have allowed us to look in uh, one of the rooms this is the uh, top floor balcony there are 24 rooms at the new Ananda and let's have a look at this one here it's just been made up And we're just set back from the beach. It's very quiet. You really can't hear too much here. As you can see, it's a really spacious room, really high ceilings. It looks like a, a big double bed. Uh, each room has aircon. Uh, there is Wi-Fi uh, throughout the establishment here. And here's the balcony. This is my first look, by the way, so. Just down there is a the front desk. We'll go and have a look a little bit later. And let's see if we can... And the beach is just through there. Very tropical, very green, very quiet. If you have a motorbike, there are facilities to park your bike down there for free. Nice little breakout area on the balcony. Sit back with a, some cheese and some biscuits. Maybe some red wine or a nice cold beverage. 
I would say if you're uh, departing on a boat and you need somewhere to stay for a couple of nights that's really accessible to the boats, this is probably the place you want to be. Um, TV, plenty of power points. Um, of course, there's handsets for the aircon and also the TV, little desk area. And then there's a wardrobe here. And we'll just move into the bathroom. Nice big bath, uh, hot and cold running water. And uh, of course, there's your sink, there's your toilet. And let me just swing around here. There is a power point in here and a nice big mirror. I just asked the gentleman how old uh, this establishment is and he said around about 15 years, but he just wasn't too sure. Um, it could be a little bit older, but um, you can never tell with these places as they really sort of, uh, they do hold their age really well. And this is a long look back from uh, the very top here through uh, the resort itself. We're upstairs and we're at uh, a front room and this is probably the place you want, but if you want quiet, you don't want to be here. In the morning, this is where all the backpackers and all the travellers come in to catch the boat to go out to all the islands out there. So it's a very busy uh, port in the morning. And then again, that's just looking back towards um, the main beach over there. Right out front, there is a little restaurant here. As is, if you keep walking, there's a stack of rungs all the way down there for food. It's a very small little resort, as I mentioned before, 24 rooms, but hey, if you just need a couple of nights quickly just to jump on a boat, this is probably a good uh, solution uh, to doing that rather than staying at some of the bigger resorts, which you may have to walk further. And right out front is the reception area. Today's date is the 24th of July, 2022. If there's no one here, just give them a quick call. And here are the room rates, the deluxe and the standard. The one we looked at, I'm really not too sure what it is. However, uh, based in Aussie dollars, the deluxe is $25 a night and uh, the standard is 18, not bad. There's no shortages of anything in this area. You've got Mark Bang, one of my favourite restaurants. Loads of cafes up this street. And right down the end is also a small supermarket which you can get most things from. Also, if you need a motorbike, you just come and see this guy here and he'll, uh, he'll sort you out for a motorbike, won't you? 100 metres away from the hotel is the Canvas Cafe which we went into the other day. There's also a money changer right down the road, only about a minute's walk. This is where I get all my money changed when I'm up the north end of Sunua. When you walk back to the main road, you're going to find some little clothes shops. There's also an Indo market, which is very handy. Well, there's a quick look at the new Ananda Hotel right here on Sunua Beachfront. You just can't get any better. Now, I did speak to the manager and he said the room we looked at is the Deluxe and the Deluxe is 250,000 a night, 25 Aussie dollars. So I tell you what, it's a bargain for this area, the location and right on the beach. And if you're gonna catch that boat to the islands, probably this is where you wanna be if you don't wanna lug that massive suitcase that you're dragging around. So until next time, I'll catch you later.